Especially when black folks stand up, it's a crime. You understand what I'm saying? When you are non-compliant with your repression, you are deemed a criminal. When you are non-compliant with your repression, you are criminalized. So let me explain to you all, that's what this is about. That's what this moment is about. We say that the state is a white nationalist endeavor driven by the concept of white supremacy and power. Police agencies are the enforcer of their white nationalist objectives. Facts. And so when we understand that, we talk about the secondary, the secondary white nationalist aspirants that adhere to the same philosophies of white supremacy and power. That's what we're about today, right? That's what this is about. These are secondary players being motivated by the primary players. These motherfuckers have supported them everywhere they've gone, everywhere they have gone. They let them wreak havoc. You know why they ain't today? Because we've been putting pressure on their ass. Be clear that this is a people's victory. And the white nationalist superstructure is attempting to take credit for it. We did this. We will do this across the nation. We will let these motherfuckers know wherever you step, it's a motherfucking problem. Wherever you touch down, it's a motherfucking problem. We don't let these motherfuckers have a moment of peace. A moment of peace. Because if left alone, they'll kill every one of us. Look at their rhetoric. We know that Amber Cummings, who called this today, is a front piece for the Proud Boys and other nationalist organizations. Right? You all clear on that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the narrative that they're attempting to spin right now is they are passing around a petition. They just sent the petition to the White House with 250,000 signatures to classify the Antifa as a terrorist organization. <laughs> Even though we might have disagreements across tendencies, that's just the first stages of the fight. That's right. That happens. We don't always agree on how things get done, right? We don't always agree on how things get done. But I tell you what pressure does. Pressure forces us to work together. Yeah. Pressure forces us to work out our contradictions, our differences. And that's what they're afraid of. Because when we work through that shit, we're a powerful mass that ain't scared of none of these motherfuckers. Yeah. And be clear that this moment is about crushing that. This moment is about crushing that. It's about breaking the unity. It's about breaking our potential power. Because there's no weapon that can beat the people. That's a fact. The masses of us define what politics are. Often we are complicit with our own repression. We give them permission. We got to take it away. So I say, be disciplined today. Be disciplined, but fight back. Be disciplined, move together. Take defensive positions. If they attempt to hurt some of ours, make sure they know it's not the right thing to do. That's right. Take care of us out here. That's right.
take care of us out here. Move together, be disciplined, be careful about proactively engaging them. This is a setup. This is a state setup. They are looking for the opportunity to indict us. You all are clear on that, right? Yeah. You all are aware of Cointel Pro tactics, right? Oh, yeah. Those things have been legalized now. So we don't even have the opportunity to say that they're illegal. They've been legalized now. Patriot Acts and the such, right? So I just want to say and close with this. Say it with me. These are our motherfucking streets. Say it again. These are our motherfucking streets. These are our motherfucking streets. Show them you mean it. Community Ready Corps. No head.